Lightyear mission log, Stardate 3901. After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Ready, Captain Lightyear? Ready as I'll ever be, Commander Hawthorne. This is exciting. A new adventure. I'm going to grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back to us. To infinity. And beyond. You are clear for hyperlaunch. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Hey, hey! Shh! The robots! The what? What is happening right now? Alicia? Oh, no. That's my grandmother. But, Socks, how long were we gone? Meow, 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 meow. 62 years, seven months, and five days. What? I hope you're ready for action. Because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien ship. I have a plan, and I have a team. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. I do this, and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. And what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> Did I get it? Pretty close. I need the... You know what's saying? The harpoons? Buzz! Buzz, right here! The probability of survival with an inexperienced crew is 38.2%. Hmm, seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent in three. Grandma always said she believed in you. Two. One. There was a big swirly do. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. If you are satisfied with this recording, speak or select uh. one. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. Hi there. Did you know what the Shrek punishment is? Well, there are alleged reports of animators failing at their job on Prince of Egypt and being sent to work on Shrek as a punishment. Apparently, this even had a nickname, to be Shreked. Ouch. Make sure to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content, and you can get my t-shirt at the link right below this video.